Hey, welcome back. This time we're going to be looking at Luke Skywalker and his Hoth gear from the Star Wars Power of the Force series from 1996. We're still Green Card Wave 1. I think this is the final new release in Wave 1 of the Green Card series. And let's go ahead and have a look. Now, I recall possessing the Luke Skywalker from the Empire Strikes Back vintage Kenner toy line. And this is a different figure, perhaps a little more screen accurate. Um, let's go ahead and turn the uh, light off here so you can get a better look at his face. And, uh, you know, as far as Luke Skywalker figures go, that's not a terrible likeness at all. Perhaps even not as beefcake as the uh, uh, unfairly maligned uh, original Luke Skywalker release in the Power of the Force series. Because all action figures were beefcake in the mid-90s. Uh, but at this point, uh, Hasbro has begun to uh, uh, proportion them a little more like the vintage figures. Uh, not as straight legs, certainly. we still got bent legs on a lot of these, but uh, I think uh, this is a really cool action figure. Now, this is plastic here on the side, just like the vintage uh, Luke Skywalker. It's, it's made out of a sort of a rubbery plastic here on the side. So in specimens in the wild that are loose... This is often bitten or broken off, so watch out for that. Uh, this one was uh, sealed on a card when I picked it up for $5 or less, okay? Uh, I pr probably every one of these videos, I'm going to try to drive home the point that these do not cost a whole lot, or they shouldn't cost a whole lot. You can find these at very, very low prices. Now, uh, you know, I think I will just go ahead and forego the uh, light on this particular figure. It's showing up better without it. Uh, I think it's pretty good screen accuracy going on here. We have the little communicator there on his wrist painted on there. There is his commander insignia. We've got something underneath here as well. Yeah, it looks great details on here. The quilting on the Hoth gear. I think, yeah, there too. I think it looks really good. The little straps there on the boots. Good paint applications, good sculpting. Articulation standard on these Power of the Force figures. He does turn here at the head and at the shoulders and at the waist and the hips okay now accessories well you'll notice his schwartz is not as big as the uh, first release luke skywalker that's a correction they made in the green card in fact most of the re-releases in green card came with a smaller uh, lightsaber so this is a little closer to the length uh, that one would expect for a, a star wars lightsaber he also comes with a holdout blaster uh, i don't think this is a heavy well, actually, now that I look at it, this looks just like Han Solo's heavy DL-44 blaster. But, again, we're I'm being pretty forgiving with the accessories in this line, uh, for the most part. At least both these weapons make sense for this character. That's not always true. So they've got the, uh, the holster painted on here. That has no function. Uh, I don't... There might be a lightsaber clip under there. I don't know if they go to that much detail. But, of course, the lightsaber cannot hang on there. I don't even think you can take the, uh, unlike the Black Series figures or the modern Star Wars figures, I don't know if you can take the uh, uh, saber out of the hilt. I haven't tried. I don't think I will. Uh, I don't want to risk breaking these. I mean, even though there's only five bucks still. And now we'll, uh, yeah, he has the uh, comm link there, uh, the receiver on his uh, helmet, and the uh, goggles are not removable. You can't put those down over his eyes. They're just painted on there. But again, it's a more realistic, screen-accurate toy than the uh, vintage uh, Hoth Luke Skywalker. And I think the pose is pretty good. I, of course, I put them all in these star stands because uh, a lot of these figures will not stand up uh, without the aid of a stand because of the shape of their the bends in their knees and stuff. So, But these star stands are relatively cheap. And, uh, yeah, this is a cool action figure, pals. I can highly recommend this one, but I, I don't recommend you pay a lot of money for it. Now, this gets re-released, or at least the Luke Hoth figure we'll see again uh, with the Wampa, uh, the Wampa creature, if I ever get a Wampa. Uh, I, I have the Luke Skywalker from that set, but not the Wampa. But spo a side spoiler alert, the, the Wampa, the power of the Force Wampa really sucks. But it's, I mean, the vintage Wampa is so much better than that. But a Hoth Luke Skywalker comes packaged with that Wampa. And it is, it's different than this one. Maybe a couple years older or younger than this one. Maybe released a couple years later is what I mean to say. But we'll, uh, 
we'll see a Hoth Luke Skywalker again. One other neat thing here is where they've, they've molded in his hood back here. I think that's pretty cool. At least the collar on that. That's that, that's a that's a neat touch. I think this is a cool action figure, pals. I can highly recommend this one, but I don't recommend you pay a lot of money for it. Okay, thank you so much for watching, pals. May the Force be with you, and I'll talk to you again soon.